I grow tired of Republicans and Trump supporters acting like Smugly Puff. Where you pretend you don't understand why people are angry at Trump's election. On the Daily Wire, there's a, there's a video, I'll leave a link to it in the description bar, where I, don't, I can't remember the guy's name, but uh, he, he, looks, he always looks like he, he belongs in, you know, one of the fraternity guys in, in uh, Revenge of the Nerds or something. Um, just kind of fits that kind of caricature really well. And he's saying that that uh, oh they 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 understand that uh, that that millennials, some millennials, literally got PTSD from Trump's election, right? But he doesn't word it as from Trump's election. He says he then goes on to you know because he he says he understands the stress that they feel. But then he, he makes it sound like they're really pathetic because it's all just because a Republican is in office. Disingenuous bullshit. That's smugly puff all the way. That's totally smugly puff. And, and a lot of people are acting that way about it. Okay? We take note of this. We do. We see this. This is not just because a Republican is in office. This is not just because someone who we don't like their policies very much is in office. I mean, that definitely adds to it. But this mainly has to do with the fact that we have someone who has no tact, no civility in office. We have someone who, who has no desire to treat their fellow man well, and doesn't wish to spread any ideas of, of, of goodwill or anything other than making the statement of MAGA, and that's not a statement of treat your fellow man better, that's for damn sure. He says so many things that, that let people latch on to hate, and, and people coming together on what they hate. That's, what, that's the kind of unity that Trump has offered. It's offered people to, to come together on everything they hate. Yeah, we have a problem with that. We could see that's the kind of person he was before he was elected. Yes, that stresses us out. Yes. But then if you do go further into his, into his policies, you know, oh, well, you know, fuck the environment. That's the one that pisses me off the most out of anything that he's done is his whole stance on fuck the environment. His, his, he, the people on his side have shown that by 2100 we're supposed to go up uh, 7 Fahrenheit degrees. The fuck? And his stance is still to do nothing. Their stance is that, well, we can't do anything about it anyway, so, you know. So one of the most, the most important issues of our time, and that's his stance on it. No, this isn't just about a Republican being in office. Unless all Republicans are, are science deniers. Oh, but you're okay with science if it meshes with your Bible, if your, your biblical views of a man and a woman. But that's the only time. Every other time, no, no, science? So, oh, oh, science is just a belief. Of course, that's kind of hyperbole right there, obviously. But... No, this isn't just about a Republican being in office. This is about someone who essentially acts like Biff Tanner in office. Someone who acts like that wouldn't make it through the primaries as a Democrat. They just wouldn't. There could be someone who's blunt in other ways, possibly, but certainly not like that. Certainly not someone who, who doesn't wish well-being on their fellow man, so.